Hi, Desiree. It's Leslie. Um, I had just a couple comments for you on your Project 1A flyer, and I wanted to um, just make a video for you just to show you kind of some steps um, that are involved. So we have this text box here, and um, there's a couple changes that I'm going to have you make to this. So first of all, um, let's see, on page, it looks like 164, I believe. It's under Objective 3. Um, they had you going up to the top um, uh, uh, paragraph mark right here, and it said um, press enter four times to create additional space for the text box. So um, you have four enters here, or, or where you press enter, but actually you needed a fifth. So when you start here, then you would press enter, enter, enter and then enter one more time. So I just clicked at this bottom paragraph mark and pressed enter one more time. That gives us a little more room for this um, text box. Okay, and then over under activity uh, 1.14 on page 167, that's where they have us uh, making some changes to the size and location. Um, so let's see here. Let's go. I have this. Let's. I'm going to select this box, and that way I get the. I just clicked on the box. Um, it's a good idea when you're working with the entire box to click on the edge of it, but that gives me the um, layout options here. Or I could go to format, and then in the arrange group, here's position as well. So whichever one, um, you know, it's it's the, basically the same thing. So in if I go to more layout options on the position tab they want us to do um, the alignment here and they want us to center it uh, relative to the page so that one's good and then under the vertical area we want to do the absolute position and they're going to have us change it to 1.25 um, and that's below the margin, so that's good. Now the next thing they're going to do, we're still in the layout box, but they want us to go to the size tab. So let's do that, and then under the height, we're going to leave it as the absolute um, height, but we're going to change that to 1.25, and then um, under the width, we're going to change that to 4. Okay, and I think that's, I think that's it for for all of our uh, layout changes. So let's go ahead and click on OK. OK, so it changed a little bit. So you can see too that um, by giving, putting in just this one more um, enter where we press the enter to make an extra space, it gave us a little more room. Otherwise, the box would have been overlapping into the text and, um, and your picture. OK. So I think the last thing they want us to do is they want us to select all of this and they they had you do control and then A to select it all or you can do a drag select whichever works best. We're going to change the font size to 16 so I'm going to go back to the home tab or you can always use the little toolbar if you get that. So I changed it to 16. They also want us to make it bold. And then the last thing they want us to do is center the text inside the text box. So now when I did the center I noticed that obviously it's off kilter so somehow I think there's an extra spacing in here. Um, so I'm going to go to the paragraph setup dialog box and I noticed that the indentation here is a negative 1.4 so something kind of got um, a skew or what have you. So I'm just going to change this indentation back to zero and then I'm going to click on OK. And now everything looks good in there. Um, I'm not sure where that indentation came from, but sometimes when the spacing doesn't look right, the page setup dialog box or yeah is a great place to go to or I guess I should say the paragraph dialog box is a great place to go to see if there's any spacing that is in your area that you really can't figure out. Okay, so once you've uh, made those changes, then everything looks good. I'll take off the show hide button here and that all looks good. Um, the other thing that I did want to mention is, let's see here, 
you had on your 1B. The only thing that I noticed here was an overall great job on both, definitely. This paragraph um, should not be bulleted. It's just a regular paragraph, and then you have the bulleted list down here along with um, your tabs and everything. So what I would do is, you can see I have the cursor sitting right here. I'm going to come up uh, to my bullet area and click on none. And now this paragraph um, should just have that first line indent. So again, if I go to my paragraph dialog box, we just want um, the um, indenting to be the first line paragraph and I'm going to change the other indent back to zero and then click on OK. There we go. So now that looks like the other paragraph there. OK, so that would be it. Good job getting the video inserted. That's it for 1A and 1B. If you want to make just those couple of changes, please do so and then you can resubmit them to me and I will update your points accordingly. OK, I hope this was helpful. Take care.